it's Courtney here um, from Minuit's family and thank you for tuning in. Um, I just recorded the intro video to my channel. Um, obviously I'm wearing the same thing. It's literally right after the other. This is a pregnancy update um, for the first trimester. Right now I am 13 weeks pregnant with our twins. Things have been crazy and I wrote down some things about the first trimester because I know people like to watch these, especially for new moms. Twins is a little bit different. Uh, I do have a nine month old son, so I have experienced pregnancy before. So a lot of these things I was just like, meh about. I didn't realize they were happening until I was like, hey, this is what it is. Just because like in your second pregnancy, I don't know if anyone else out there in their second pregnancy or second babies um, really get this, but in your second pregnancy, you kind of don't obsess. Maybe obsess is the right word. I don't know. It might not be the right word, but you don't obsess about every little symptom or every little pain that you get, comfortability. I have a midwife, so I, I just text her but you don't worry or like call your doctor about every single thing in the second prim uh, second pregnancy. So I had to really think about what was going on. So we were not trying and I guess I'll just start with that, like how we got pregnant. Found out when I was six weeks pregnant, I took a test, but I kind of, my husband and I kind of knew before because I was starting to feel sick, nauseous, really dizzy, like four and a half, five weeks pregnant, I was feeling really not me. I was very tired, very nauseous. Um, I was craving things that I normally wouldn't. Also, whenever I, I'm not a foodie, um, I eat normally to sustain my body. <laughs> I don't have to have these like extravagant meals. I don't obsess about food and I don't like sit there and I'm like, mm. but when I'm pregnant, I do. So I, I don't know what I was eating. It was some sort of food that it was like this. So it was either like a taco or like a burger or something. And one, I don't normally eat red meat because I don't normally like the texture of it um, or flavor of it. It just kind of grosses me out or smell of it, to be honest. Um, so if it was a burger, then that could have been a tell too. But I just sat there and I was like, hmm. Like I was just like this, like. And my husband looked at me and he was like, you're pregnant. And I was like, no, I'm not. I just really hungry. And I, so every pregnancy that I've had, which is only been Theodore, um, I wait until the last day of my expected period. I just deny. I'm just like, no, 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 no. I just deny it because miscarrying is like so, it's like a big fear. So that'll like get my hopes up and I'll be like super excited and then that'll happen. And that's totally normal and very, very common um, to happen in the beginning like that. So I just like personally don't want to get my hopes up. So I just deny until I can't deny it anymore. And so that's what I was doing. And then six weeks, I was like, okay, hey, I'll just take it test so I took a test and it came out like right away didn't have to wait like the three minutes that it says my reaction was a bunch of giggles and a bunch of swear words <laughs> because I went from pregnancy to breastfeeding to pregnancy I was not finished breastfeeding with Theo I got pregnant with the twins I lost all my milk it just disappeared and I think that was my body being like we need this now like these children inside me need the vitamins and nutrients, not this like seven month old baby, you know? So um, that was like a really big sign um, of pregnancy. <laughs> that was like my first one. So loss of milk production. And then I was like really nauseous and dizzy. I was really dizzy, which with Theo, I was not dizzy. Oh, okay. With both my pregnancies, um, I had another symptom of during pregnancy during the first trimester, cause it's gone now is crazy acid reflux. I couldn't eat anything super spicy or like 
pickles or I had to take purple acid reflux pills. Is Don't laugh at me. Shane? What? He was sleepy. Yeah, he, I just went to look on, check on him and he like was awake. He woke up. Buggy? That wasn't yeah. long at all. No, is not it long? No. Should I put him back down? That was like 30 minutes. No, that's fine. Whatever. You can sleep in the car when we go. <sighs> okay, everybody. In the middle of the pregnancy update. This uh, is my son, Theo. Can you say hi? Wave. Can you say hello? Hi. Hi, Theo. Say hi. Hi, Theo. Wave. Wave, hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah. So in the first video, I talked to you guys about seeing my husband and most of these videos. These sit-alone videos, probably won't see him much. Um, but in the day in the life vlogging videos, you'll see him. But this is him. This is Shane. This is, this is my husband, Shane. Hi. <laughs> um, you got cat hair. Can I get it? It's going to be itchy. Um, yeah, so crazy acid reflux because of the hormone relaxant, especially with twins because you get more that relaxant hormone. So, also, first trimester, another symptom is sleep insomnia. I could not fall asleep. I could not stay asleep. Um, so that was really hard, especially when he was waking up two to three times in the night. Um, he just recently started sleeping through the night. Excuse me. He just recently started sleeping through the night, which is awesome. And my sleep insomnia is gone. So that was just a first trimester thing, which is really nice because I thought that I would have to have that throughout the whole thing, which is really hard because sleep is really important when you're pregnant. Just sleep, sleep, sleep all the time. Do you want my phone? Another thing that happened in the first trimester that only has happened once in the second trimester so far is heart palpitations. So these are really common, especially I only got them during sleep and then I would wake up and then it would be really fast and then slow and then fast and then slow. I hear that that's common and normal. So for everyone that wants to know, my midwife and my OB are teamed up because I originally thought that I was pregnant. No. We don't put pens in our mouth though. You can play, but not in your mouth. I originally thought I was pregnant with one. So I was like, okay, with him, I had a home birth with my midwife. It was amazing. Um, I recommend it. With two, you're not allowed, like you immediately have to be transferred to an OB. It's just more high risk. You have to go into hospital, it's more high risk. So our birth plan changed, which I'm gonna be having a video talking about how I dealt with that and um, what our plan was to what our plan is now. But you guys are aware, my OB and my midwife are teaming up now. So I have both not in your mouth. Thank you. Um, okay, so one thing that happened in my first trimester with this pregnancy that did not happen with Theo was acne. So I have been fighting acne all throughout my life. I got pregnant with him. It was like hormones just reversed and I had the clearest skin ever. And it was amazing. And then this pregnancy, um, I just got, a, I didn't get acne, but like, not full blown acne, just a little bit of pimples on my chin. I didn't have the clearest skin, but it seems to have subsided and gone away. So that might've just been a first trimester thing. Can you just, In the first trimester, I could not drink water. Like, it was disgusting. It would make me want to puke everywhere so I had to like put in like Mio or like crystal light or just some flavoring lemon juice whatever to make it not taste like water but that has subsided now I can drink water and not feel nauseous anymore which is awesome because I was so worried about it I was like oh my god I don't want to drink juice for the rest of my pregnancy weird things that I craved I still crave cake. I just want cake all the time. Just cake. <laughs> Give me cake. <laughs> um, chicken noodle soup. I always want that right now. Like, and throughout my like first trimester, every single day I was making chicken noodle soup. Literally the most delicious thing. It's so weird. Pickles with cheese. Like ch pickles wrapped in like craft singles slices. It's the most delicious thing. Like, why is that so good? So I can't have cheese. 
because I'm a little bit lactose intolerant. So I try to stay away from cheese because cheese is the worst. I don't know if it's because like, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's because it's like the way it's like pasteurized or like the culturing. I have like yogurt and I can have like skim milk if I want it or like, you know, when you buy things and they have like modified milk ingredients. I can have that. I don't react, but with cheese, I react so bad. I get these cystic acne things, scars from my cheese reaction. Um, so I can't have pickles wrapped in cheese, but all I want is pickles wrapped in cheese. And pretzels. So these salty things. Chicken noodle soup has lots of salt. Cake doesn't have salt. But pickles, salt, pretzels, salt. Bad, ce I wrote down bad cereal. Cereal, that's like super bad for you. Like. Sugar crisp. Do they do they have these in America? Do they make them in America? Are they ma are they American made? I don't know. But in Canada, there's things like sugar crisp, alphabets, honeycomb, frosted flakes, cinnamon toast crunch. All of those ones that taste amazing, but they're so bad for you. And normally we do not keep them in the house because they're bad, so we don't even buy them. But this pregnancy, first trimester, and a little bit still now. All I want is honeycomb cereal, that's all I want. But my husband buys Raisin Bran. Last one, tacos. Okay, I love tacos right now. Again, I don't normally eat red meat. I want a super beef burrito slash taco from Taco Time with no cheese and added guac. That's all I want every day. I would be happy if people just gave me that for a meal every day. Last thing to add in this video that I thought people might already ask or wonder, um, is it harder, is this pregnancy harder than with Theo because of the twins? So both yes and no. Yes, because there's more hormones, I'm more tired, I have to take care of Theo. And then no, because of I'm running around taking care of Theo, you know, my mind isn't focused on this pregnancy, like like Theo's pregnancy, I was working, I didn't have anything really to take care of. So everything was about my pregnancy and everything, I was so focused in it. The days were long and the pregnancy felt long. It was, it was long. This pregnancy, it feels so fast. It feels so, I'm already 13 weeks. Like what? It feels like yesterday I just, I found out. Like, it's just crazy because you're always on the go. So that's easier because time goes by a lot faster, especially like right now, like in the first trimester, you want time to go faster because you feel like ill. So um, you want that to kind of like, let's move on from that. So yes and no, it's just different. Um, I'm sure that it will be harder as I get bigger, I am five feet, very petite. I didn't lose all my baby weight from Theo. I like 127 pounds. Guys, I was, I was really tiny with Theo uh, post-pregnancy, pre before. <laughs> so I just, there's nowhere for babies to go but out. So it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be harder this time than with him, but for the first trimester, it has, that's, it's a yes and no. And I'm not like focused in on it. I'm not obsessed about it because I have other things that we're being focused on like moving and packing. We were showing the house to sell, which is super annoying for any of you who have not sold a home. It is the most annoying thing ever. That's all I got for the first trimester update. I don't really have a bump. I mean, I guess you can see the little bump that I have right now. It's just little and mostly bloat in the morning, so mild bloat, not really a lot, but it's just tiny, it's like a poo. Thank you for watching this video, thank you for tuning into my channel, hope you liked it, if you did, give it a thumbs up, if you have any questions, comment below, if you wanna hear more about my crazy life and hear me ramble, then, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have lots more of those and lots more pregnancy updates, motherhood videos, cleaning videos, day in the life videos, just everything.